Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutail Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these white flowers seed beads earrings. They're easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials linked to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching, now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11-0 seed beads. Uh, you could use 10-0 seed beads if you want. Here I use earring finding. This is Nymo nylon thread which is 0.2 millimeters of thickness or this is size D. Here I use size 10 beading needle. You could use 11 or 12 if you want and scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm back and what I'm going to do is pick up 18 of these beautiful chameleon beads. Okay, I will pick up 18. Okay, and I have my 18 beads here and now I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and then I will make one more knot and pull again okay and now I have this and now I will go through some beads in this direction. Okay, just like this. Now guys, what I'm going to do in my next step is take two yellow beads and I'm going to, uh, to skip the next two that are, are on my way and I'm going here through this one. Then again, I'm taking two, skip the next two that are on my way and go here. Then two again, skip the next two and go through the following. Okay, and I'm going to repeat this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and now I have this and in my next step what I want to do is go through the following yellow and put here in one red. Then I'm going to take one black bead, dark bead and I'm going through the yellow. Then I take one red and go through the following yellow, okay? And then I go here through the next yellow. And one. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay, and I'm here at my last step. And what I'm going to do next 
is exit here through this bead that's sticking out the most, the dark bead. And I'm going to take a yellow and go here. Another yellow and go here. A yellow and go here. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and now what I want to do in the next row as I'm exiting through this yellow is to take two yellows and go here. Just like this. Then take another dark bead and go in the next yellow. Then again take two yellows and go in the next yellow. Then again one dark And then two yellows. And one dark. And two yellows. And one dark. And I will continue this until the end. Okay guys, now I have this and in my next step what I want to do is reposition my thread to go out of a black bead, of a dark bead. And now what I'm going to do is take two dark beads and go through these middle two beads. Then again two and go here. Repeat again, two, go here, repeat again, two, go here, then again, and again. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end and when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, and I just finished this row. Uh, I added these two beads and then I went through these two. So I'm exiting here. And I want to take three dark beads and go through these beads. Like that. Then again, I repeat. I go through all of those beads here and I take three and I go again here then again three and I will continue this until the end of this row Okay guys, and I'm here and I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And what I want to do next is go in this direction and exit through this one that's sticking out the most. The central one of the three that I added in my last row. And then I'm going to pick up three red beads, three of them, and I'm going back in circle through the same bead. Okay, now I have this. Then in my next step, I'm going through these two dark beads, take three 
yellows skip and go here then three go back and three and again three and i will show you one more time and let you do this by yourself okay i go through two here take three skip this one two three in the middle and go through the next two okay now guys i have this and i'm going to continue until the end of this row okay guys and now here i am at my last step where i'm adding my last three beads from this row now i have this and what i want to do next is go here at the top then go through these two red beads because i want to exit through the one that's sticking out the most and then go like this then what i want to do is flip my work it's not obligatory but it's easier for me to go in this direction that is why i'm flipping and i'm taking two beads here just like that then i go here in this central yellow bead and i'm taking three dark beads just like this then i go in the next yellow take two go here then again i go through two beads in this direction take two dark beads and go through the next two yellows then i take three and go here go through the next yellow add two beads here go like this add two then go through three beads okay and i'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last two beads from this row and what i'm going to do next is exit out of this red bead and then i'm going to pick up seven chameleon beads okay i have my seven here and i'm going in the next bit that's sticking out the most then again what i need are seven beads and i'm going in the next red one then again seven okay and i need here seven okay and i'm going to continue this until the end of this row okay and here i have my last seven beads and i'm going in this red one and now what i'm going to do is go through three 
chameleon beads. Then I skip the one that's here and go through the next two. Now I have this and I take one yellow, skip one, two, three that are in the middle and go through these two beads. Then skip the one that's on my way and go through the next two. Then I take one yellow and I go through the following two. Then I skip the next and go through these two beads. Then again, I'm going through the following two. Skip the central one and go through the next two. And pull. And then take one. And go like this. Skip the central one. Go through two. Pull this one to pop out and form an angle. And I will continue this until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm just adding my last yellow bead here and I'm going through this dark bead. And now what I want to take is one dark bead my earring finding and one dark bead. Okay, this is what I have here on my needle. And I'm going back through this bead here at the top. And I'm going to reinforce this joint. Okay, now I have this and now I'm going in this direction and here what I want to do is make a knot and how I'm making my knot, I'm making here a loop and I'm going once and second time through this loop I've made and I pull, then I go through the following two beads, I stick my needle in my mat and I cut my thread. Okay guys, and now my earring is ready. So if you like those earrings and you want to make more and more projects like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be inspired often, usually twice a week and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.